Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. This is day 60.5. So we hit day 60, so excited. If you guys haven't seen my last video, please go watch it. Um, I got about 40 minutes before I got to go pick up my son from school, so decided to work on this Tailwind project that I've been working on for a few days. I added something really cool in it that I want to show you guys, so <laughs> not, not really a surprise now. I always ruin the surprise, but yeah i added a logo but uh animation on the logo box uh it took me a while to get uh because the way tailwind was telling me to do it it wasn't working so tailwind does have built-in animations they have ping they have pulse they have spin uh but these oh they have bounce as well but these aren't the animations that i wanted i wanted it to slide so i had to basically add my own animation and they do show you how to do it. Um, they tell you, you know, add it to the config file. I was trying to do it, but it wasn't working for me. So I decided just to do some internal CSS in my HTML file and just add it myself. So I added the keyframes and, you know, slide. I actually gonna change this back. I was experimenting. You can experiment as much as you want. Um, so, the animation is actually easy. I didn't know it was this easy. This is my first time ever using keyframes. So I believe I got this code off of Stack Overflow, I believe. But it was to go up, I believe. So I had to change it to X. Yeah, I think it was Y. It was like some um, bounce thing on Stack Overflow. So I just switched it up a little bit. And yeah, um... It's really easy. It wasn't that hard to do, actually. I thought it was going to be hard. I thought it was going to involve JavaScript. So you can do this with JavaScript. I don't know how to do it with JavaScript, but um, I did it with CSS because, I mean, it's Tailwind. So try to avoid using JavaScript, I guess. So, yeah, I guess we'll work on this for a few. I got a few minutes where I got to go pick up my son. I'm not going to uh, fix up the logo box right now uh obviously all of these have to change and i also have to get the timing right because if you look watch this watch this i think you guys probably already peeped that so like there's like i don't like it showing like the white space when it ends so what i might do is add like an infinite amount of of um logos so when it does reset it doesn't show this like white space here like right here see you can tell that it's ending and then it's going to reset. See, so instead of, I'm just going to add more logos just to get rid of that. So let's just do that now, actually. So I can know, uh, copy and paste, paste and paste, ace, <laughs> bro. How many logos? <laughs> uh, all right. So yeah, we're going to keep it like that. All right, so yeah, I wanted to start a new section because, I mean, I, I just got to change the logos and put the filter on those. Those will be easy. So I wanted to start a whole new section. So let's start a new section. So that's the sponsor section. And let's do another section. And I'm going to give it our normal container div. Uh... So I got like a little container div up here that I just keep everything centered and perfect. So it's this right there. So what this does is uh, medium and up viewports. It makes the container 89% the width and the MX auto makes it, it centers it like automatic, automatically. <laughs> and then MY is just um, margin top and bottom. Actually, I don't even need to add that, I don't think. All right, so let's uh, class. I gotta um make sure I don't write class name. I've been doing too much um too much React lately, man. Sheesh, I've been I've been messing up. I wrote class name for a few of these. All right, so. We got that. So for the next section, I was wanting to do a like a progress bar showing. I don't know what to show yet, but just like a progress bar of like different stuff and then have another image of 
I guess our of her, I guess, because on stock on Adobe stock, there's like a bunch of images of her. So I wanted to like, you know, keep the keep the theme going like she had a pink shirt on and it, it goes perfect with our colors. So um, I forgot what I typed in, uh, maybe like uh, social uh, girl media, some shit like that. Forgot what I typed in. Okay, there we go. And if you click, oh, how many? Let me make sure I got enough assets to buy to get it. Okay, I got two assets. Perfect. All right, so yeah, she has a few other, like in in the collection. Um, so probably do something like a with media. Like this. Wait, it's kind of like what we got. So she's looking at the phone. So we could do something like. I probably should have used that one for my. For my main. I like that one. Um. Probably. I don't know which one. I really don't know which one. Um, probably like with the backpack or some shit. Like something like this, maybe. Yeah, with the laptop. Let's do let's do something like this. All right. And can I get this one? Yep. I just downloaded that. I used one of my one of my licenses, so I gotta use this one. I think I got what two left. I right, show a folder. And let's rename it. Uh I don't know. Bottom section image. I know I gotta clean out my computer. I got a bunch of random shit in here. Let's drag that over there. All right. All right, perfect. Close out of that. All right, so for this section, I want our image to be on the left and then the progress bar to be on the right. So let's do, so we got our container. Um, so that's the container. And now let's, do a, a div. What I like doing is just getting everything together first. And this would be our image. And we can do a, a assets and bottom section image. And then, so that's the left. And then on the right, this would be our progress bar, which I still don't know how to make it, but we're about to look it up. And figure it out so I did try to look it up before tailwind progress bar all right see how to do this all right so to do a progress bar so we could just really just copy this code actually um, and just switch it up. Make sure so dark. Yeah, let's copy this. Let's copy that. Whoa. Wait, how many did I copy? One, two. I don't need that many, but. Let's take all of some. So we don't need one. Uh, I gotta make sure I'm doing this right. Okay, hold on. So that div goes with that one. Then 
that one so all of that goes together Go blue all right let's just see how it looks first actually all right so we could just keep it like this for now i guess all right so i'm gonna try to do a grid probably or maybe a flex box. I think I think I proved myself with grid already. I got um I gotta always repeat myself because I get new viewers every day, but i I'm I use Flexbox all the time with everything. It could just it could be literally just to add some gap in, I'll just turn that div into a flex fast as fuck. So lately I've been um trying to learn more uh, CSS grid. And um, yeah, I've been using grid a lot more lately, but I think I think I proved myself. So I think I, I think I'm, I can use flex now. Let's use flex. I think I proved myself with grid already. All right, so we got our grid. I mean our flex. And um, actually, I might use grid. I actually might use grid because I want it to be perfectly even. And let's do a grid. Call. I don't know if I'm doing this right. Grid call two. Will that make them both even? Okay, yeah, something like that. Perfect. And then, uh, sorry, and then a line, and then items. Maybe it's place item center, I believe. Place item center. Like refreshing the whole fucking page. Fuck. All right, let's see. All right, so we got a perfectly good div. Perfectly. Okay, perfect. Okay, now I gotta figure out how to work with these progress bars and see how we're gonna do this. So we got our div and we can name this, I don't know, um, imagine media. So I guess it'll be like a progress bar showing like other companies like just made up companies and they show us like at like a hundred or some shit just a made up site so imagine media um i'm down i gotta change like the color dark oh okay so oh okay this is cool so the dark is um it's for the dark theme and stuff whenever I add it add that I thought I added that on here did I not okay yeah oh so I didn't add it to oh we gotta add our icon here I didn't even know all right so I probably should do so we got with full maybe I should do with a hundred percent I wonder why it's not taken. I think because they're um probably gotta change the Okay, so that's a div, that's why. Um so I'm going to probably Huh Div. Okay, so that's div for that one. Wait. So height. Width 45. So that is. I think this is like for the progress bar. So let's change this to 99. I should move it up. To. Yep, see that moved that up. So that's for the progress bar. My computer is going to so slow. Man. Alright. So yeah, we just gotta play around with this. Let's see how to 
get this. So maybe I did it up here, I think, actually. So for the div, so this is my header. So I made um I could have swore I used grid up here. Okay, so yeah, grid columns three. And then okay, call span two. Okay, okay, I think that's what I gotta do. So let's do grid column three. And then we're gonna call span the two. Well, my computer's going so slow. What is going on? I guess something up. Hopefully it's not lagging for you guys. I close out of Discord. I close out of messages. Alright. Okay, so call spawn and then we'll do a class call span two. See if that works. No. Oh, maybe we gotta get this a width. A width of full. There we go. There we go, there we go. But we don't want it like that now. Let's take that off and keep that like that and change this back to it being even and now we should have a nice thing there but um does it look center place item center justify Center, maybe. No, I don't want that. I want justify uh, between. Dude, why is my like? Why is it odd? Like refreshing the whole thing. Like, am I tweaking? All right, so that's center and that is center. But I might give this image like a margin left because I mean, a margin right. Uh, see, like I was about the right class name. So let's do a margin right of three. You know what I think it is? Actually, I don't know what it is. Hopefully, it's not too laggy for you guys. All right. So, yeah, I got a few more minutes, and then I have to go. All right. And I'm going to change the colors on this as well, make it look better. Um, this looks a little plain. So, maybe I should add, like, something behind her. Um. Let's give this some padding because I don't know, it just looks weird. Padding two for now. Okay, just for now. Alright, so let's add like an image behind her. And to do this. Not that hard, actually. All right. So let's add an image behind her. That's the only thing about doing stuff, not like not planning. Like, I uh, like those big YouTubers. They they're all good at coding, but they all like plan out their stuff, which I probably should start doing. But 
um these i'm not doing this for like tutorial purposes or nothing so it's just like me just getting on here trying to figure shit out myself so you know i do apologize if a lot of my videos is just me figuring out shit <laughs> all right so let's add a div and we're gonna do a class of rounded we need to give it a width of let's do 300 pixels for now 300 pixels and then we gotta give it a height of 300 pixels let's see if it pops up i think we gotta give it a wait then we gotta give it a color uh do a bg of our pink which i think is that one we should get a circle somewhere oh it's a square wait around it oh i saw around it wrong uh around it lg maybe Oh, we could keep that for now. Let's just try to get it behind her. My computer's going so slow. I don't know what's going on. Maybe it just needs a break or something. But <laughs> All right, let's try to get it behind her. So to do that, it should be easy. Let's make it the image of relative and then make the, the circle or square, I guess, for now. Absolute. Or maybe I have to make this div relative. Let's see if it moves. So let's do top zero. Let's see if it moves to the top. Oh, uh oh, we got a problem. So I think I gotta make the div. Um, yeah, yep. I think I gotta make the div. That 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 would make sense. Let's do um a class of relative. And let's see if that works. Yep, perfect. All right, and um, let's give this image a Z index of 10. Um, I think I have to make this relative as well for it to go on top of that. I think. Yep, perfect. And so we got to get that shit in the middle. Can I just, since it's a div, can't I? Oh, no, but it's taking out its, oh, like, the state of everything. So, uh, so we got top zero. Let's do... Let's do that little trick. So let's see what we can do it on here. So top 50%, right? Left 50%. And see what that gets us. Okay. And now we have to do a translate transform or some shit like that. Uh, let's look that up. Let's go to um, the Tailwind documentation. All right, I gotta go here soon. Tailwind um, transform translate. Okay, so translate. So we just gotta write. Wait, what? Okay, so we just gotta write translate. Oh, I see. So it's 
so I think we just gotta write, um, where are we at? I think we just gotta write translate. Um, 50%, let's see if that works. Uh, we gotta write maybe with the little dash, like that, let's see, let's see what happens. Okay, nothing happened. Oh, I spelled translate wrong. Oh, negative 50. You gotta be negative. Okay, that didn't do nothing. All right, so uh, let's see. Enter absolute position and tailwind. Oh, can't center. Oh. I want to click on that one. Let's see. Okay, so at, whoa, what's this? With Tailwind only, you can use the following class. Absolute, top, one half, translate, one half. I don't know, one half. <laughs> Let's just copy this. Let's see if it works. All right, let's see what, all right, let's see what that works. And then we'll look over the code, you know, to see if we get it. Yep, that worked, perfect. All right, so let's see what they did. So they did, oh, we take away this absolute. So we got absolute, so we did, so he did top one and a half. So that's 50%, left 50%, transform, translate x okay so it's basically the same exact thing i just did so let me see if this works with percentages so 50 percent 50 percent transform x oh, i might have to put them in curly um brackets so bracket that and then this bracket that 50 percent and then bracket the Y. Um, let's see if this stays the same. Yep. So yeah, it's basically the exact same thing. But I don't know. <laughs> Just keep it like that, I guess. All right. So let's take off that margin right to make sure everything. I think I put a margin right on the image. Let's take this off. All right, so we got our image there, and I don't know, it's looking weird now. I don't think I'm gonna keep it like that. Maybe add the circle. Let's add a, let me, nope. For a radius. I don't know how to make a perfect circle. Figure out how to do it. What the fuck is this? Oh, round it full. That's it. I probably could have just looked up there, actually. I did it up there. Alright, so round it full. See how the circle looks. Okay. That doesn't look too bad. I like that. I like how it's popping out. But um instead. Yeah, I actually like this, actually. I like it a lot. Um, let's try something else. Let's copy this. And we're gonna make it a little bit smaller so it's 300 pixels let's do 200 pixels for the width and 200 pixels and then we'll change the color uh, to a lighter pink let's see how that looks OK, 
Okay, um, this width, the width of the, wait a minute. Let's just, let's make the width a little bit bigger on this. Let's do 90 percent. Do 90, 93%. All right, maybe we could just give it can we give the divs a gap? Let's give it a gap. Let's take off that pattern and let's give it a gap of six and see what it moves. Dude, <laughs> I had to apologize for this. My computer's going so slow. I don't think that worked. Um, let's make this a little bit bigger. Let's do 250. Gotta go soon. 250. Okay. That looks okay. It looks okay. Um. Hmm. It just looks off. The image just looks off. <laughs> Uh, let, let's let's bring let's bring the image up a little bit. Let's do a margin bottom two and just see. See, I don't want to do a margin bottom actually because the way this image cut off, I'm definitely gonna have to. The next section is gonna have to be like a color section because the way this image is cut off it's um it's gonna look weird if it's a, another like white section so i either could put color on this section which let's just see uh, color background um let's do i don't know what color to do bg I'll probably get that blue, but I, I don't think this will look good. I think it'll look good white with white. Yeah, that don't look right. That little, yeah, that don't look right at all. So yeah, this section is going to be white, but then the next section could be like a little colored section with this blue background. I don't know what it's going to be though. All right, I think I won't keep it like that. I don't look that bad, actually. We just got to make it responsive. But that'll be easy because all we got to do is we got Tailwind. Where we at? Where we at? So. Actually, that's going to be a little hard. It's going to take a little bit of time. So we got our grid call. We got a grid. So we can do md for this since this is tailwind is mobile first so all right so we do md for that and then for the default it'll just be uh grid right yeah so should it just be default grid yep there we go and um that's not looking good man fuck Maybe maybe on mobile I can give this a background color this div so for mobile it'll be a BG of fuck man that's not gonna look right sorry my neighbors playing music
Oh man, I don't look right. With full, why is it? Oh, because of the section. Fuck. Oh man, I don't know how am I gonna do this, guys. I don't like this cutoff here. Maybe I'm overthinking it. I'm really picky when it comes to sights. But that cut off there, and then, ah, oh man. I'm going to have to play around with this, but, um, yeah, that's, that's it for now. It should go back to our grid like that, and then come out. See, that's it for now. My computer's going slow. I think I need a break. I've been on it <laughs> all day. So, um, yeah, I'm about to go pick up my stuff from school. Thank you guys for tuning in. That's 60.5. Uh, just practice around with some tailwind. Probably won't have time to work on this for a few days. I'm on to React Native. If you guys see my last video, so I'm learning a whole new concept. So these little side projects might take a little break from. Uh, but you know, whenever I get some free time, that's when I work on, you know, this side stuff. So peace out. See you guys tomorrow.